Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the Collective of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome Taurus, welcome Cross Watchers. If you're brand new to the channel, come in, say hello, let me know where you're tuning in from. And you guys, I always bounce back around later this evening. I'll come in and uh, go through your comments. I'll say hello. So come in and say hi. All right, here we go. I'm pulling from Whispers of Love Oracle just to get us some nice soothing messages. Card 11. I love that for you, Taurus. Look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. Yes, very ethereal. I love the 11 for you. Nice synchronicity there. You are stronger than you realize. Ain't it the truth? Okay, so I'm going to pull the main spread, give you my initial impressions, and then we'll uh, let the clarifiers do the talking. Here we go. Six of Swords, nice. Moving to calmer waters, getting beyond something turbulent. Oh, yes, because like full moon. Hello. It was a lot, so we're getting past it. What's crossing you here? Three of Cups. No, Five of Cups. I'm sorry, my bad. Um, yeah, there's just definitely something from the past that you may be finally getting beyond. Some regrets, some sadness, some loss some mistakes, whatever, in your unconscious awareness. We have the lover's card here. So obviously something from the past with regard to your beloved. The death card in the past could have been an ending of a connection. Devil in your conscious awareness. What's going on here, Taurus? Oh my goodness. Knight of Pentacles in the near future. Maybe an offer coming towards you, you moving towards something, but ever so slowly. So the devil here, though, um, in your conscious awareness, there may just be something that's kind of gnawing at you that, you know, there's maybe uh, some remnants of some negative karma that hasn't released you yet. You're still feeling very, you know, you're feeling some karmic pull still. Uh, I'll get to that. Let's go ahead and look at the Six of Swords, Five of Cups. The Sun, the Ace of Wands, Four of Cups. It's almost like it's hard to let go of the past because those were the days, right? So even though you want to move beyond, because this is how it would come through. Six of Swords crossed by the Five of Cups, trying to get beyond it, but the past keeps pulling you back. And so what it's pulling you back is to the memories of the happiness, those better times, the Ace of Wands, maybe, you know, maybe re reigniting the passion as possible, but with the Four of Cups here, let me see if I can finagle this and hold it all up, right? With the Four of Cups underneath, there's some disillusionment, disappointment, there's something that's reminding you of the loss, of the rejection. But it's like you haven't let go here. There's something you have not let go of, Taurus. You do want to move beyond something from the past. So let's see the lover's card in your unconscious awareness. Nine of Cups, Knight of Cups, Justice. What would bring you this sense of, um, you know, like um, contentment, wish fulfillment, like, oh, that's just, that's, that's what I needed. That's what I wanted. That kind of cherry on top kind of energy here with your beloved is just an offer from their heart. That would restore the balance, the harmony. Um, so I do feel internally 
it that's where you go you go to just this you know the lover's card is reunion union of your souls the how good that would feel how balancing that would be how healing that would be just to have them make that offer from their heart it is romantic the knight of cups too so that's not lost on me that there's some kind of offer that's on your mind or in your you know your inner landscape is processing some form of an offer coming your way. Um, would you like it to stay? Yep, but I feel like it's this, there's some kind of longing here that I'm getting. The death card in the past. The star, the five of pentacles, the eight of swords. And the, oh, well, there you go. I'm just going to pull it over so I could see it. I think in the past, with the death card and the star, I want to go to hoping for change, right? Because the death card can go both ways, but almost it's... It's like the, the losing of hope because the next card out is the five of pentacles. Like hoping for change when all hope is lost and then just feeling stuck and not knowing what to do with yourself, not knowing the next best step. As you see something slipping away, yes, because that's the five of cups. So that's where things really started to get dicey. And now we have the devil energy. like some like you were okay so let me show this to you here you are this is the connection this is what I'm seeing in your unconscious awareness lovers uh, nine of cups knight of cups this idealized vision experience of this connection the happier times of this bond of this soul bond but then it's sandwiched in between something where there might might be ulterior motives um and you're 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 very focused on that now you're very focused on You're focused on, clearly you're moving beyond it or you're trying to, but it's hard to leave all this in the rear view mirror. The disappointment, the disillusionment with something that seemed so beautiful and so loving and so magical even, but then became something um negatively charged in a negative karmic way right like i'm seeing ill intentions i'm seeing um like something that was very unfair to you um could involve and an, i don't see the third party but it's almost like with that devil landing so powerfully here, I'm feeling like that could be for some of you, not all of you. Uh, I don't want to read things into it that aren't showing up, but like it's right there. It's screaming like I did not see that. And it was because this is more hidden. This is more behind the scenes, very sabotage -y. Interrupting this beautiful connection. See what I'm saying? Um, 
and it could be anything it could be anything because there's this very present force and then there's this very behind the scenes energy and it seems like i can see why no hope and so let's go ahead and look at the knight of pentacles going forward death card again well the death card can be about growth change and transformation and something that has to be left behind so that right and that's the death part like a part of us has to die so we can be born anew is themes of the eighth house so i'm seeing here knight of pentacles with the chariot that's some offer coming in that uh, that paves the way for progress and the change that's needed and it's transformational and isn't it good that you kind of don't give up right it's it's going to require a lot of perseverance that's why you got that card okay let me get let me get it Oh my god now i gotta get it i wasn't gonna do that <laughs> i wasn't gonna do it <laughs> look to your inner strength you're stronger than you realize look to your inner strength you are stronger than you realize this poor soul here is like broken and battered and bruised and weary and worn And he's going to make it. <laughs> I didn't want to get up and have to walk half across the floor in the middle of the reading. But that's the message. That's the message. You're going to make it. This person will come in with an offer. And when I say an offer, please understand it, it, whatever it is, it, it supersedes what, whatever is happening with this seemingly powerful, negatively, karmically charged energy that seems to be trying to swallow this connection whole and spit out the bones that is not going to win. Whatever it is, is not going to win. Now, the only card in tarot that overcomes the devil is the strength card. I do not see it here. May it appear in the extended? Perhaps. But I love that your message in your oracle is look to your inner strength, right? Like there's, there's a message here. So I do feel there may be change on the horizon that will allow this connection to progress. So you're stronger than you realize and your perseverance may be what is needed here to bring about the change that will propel this connection forward and turn what is kind of residing in your you know, midnight thoughts into, well, turn it into reality. Okay, so that's this part. And um, before I launch into the review of the astrology, etc., I am going to take it to the extended. I'm going to look at your connection. Like, um, this, this is for your benefit, yes, but like what what what's the strength what's the challenge what's the opportunity what's this what does this person want you to know what is their message to you what are they picking up from you at 5d kind of the vibes that they're writing what is what is the message from spirit what's your divine guidance hidden energy maybe we're gonna get more about whatever this is um and then certainly we want to see the outcome going forward okay so the links to that are below um please 
If this has gotten your attention, if it has resonated for you, if it's insightful, if it's confirmational, if it is validated, anything that you've been feeling lately, like nobody knows what you're going through, but this just said, yup, I hear you, I see you. Please, if you haven't already, subscribe below. That's how I get to stay here and do this as my life's work. And I thank you for that in advance. Here we go. The sun is the sun, it rules Leo. We've got the lovers is Gemini. We have the Knight of Cups is Pisces. Justice is Libra. The death card comes out twice, that's Scorpio. The star is Aquarius. We've got the devil, Capricorn. Empress is Venus, Taurus and Libra. Yeah, um, Empress and landing on the devil there gives me a whole Persephone and Hades feel, right? Okay, if you're up on your, um, oh, what was I going to say? Your Greek mythology. Knight of Pentacles is Virgo energy. Chariot is a Cancerian energy. That's what I have for you, my lovelies. I'm heading to the extended. I will be there in a, in a second. Bye for now.